All right, guys. Well, she's out. So that was uh, that was fun. This one, this one sucks. Always putting in and out. It is a bitch getting this thing in the truck, but it's out now. I'm gonna scoot it out of the way. Get up under here, and I didn't really record this part just because it's pretty easy. There's basically just four bolts, so there's uh, four that hold it to the uh, bell housing, and then there's four that hold it to the uh, to the frame. So I'll get this one. I'm gonna pull the real quick. I'm gonna pull the bell housing and the flywheel. And then I put my pressure plate and my adapter. I'll probably have to pull this bearing. We'll get in here and see. And then I hope maybe I can get this thing on the jack. Hell, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I'll figure out a way to get it up underneath the truck. And uh, and uh, and try to get it up in place. So that's the plan for tonight. But we'll see how that happens. Alright guys, holy snapper, that was a crazy day of wrenching, but guess what's not there, and guess what's over here, that's right, she's an auto now, let me get you under here and show you what is going down, so I was going to stop pretty much after I like, dropped the other one, but then I'm like, you know what, I ain't freaking playing around, so I went and took the, uh, took the, uh, flex plate off of the k20 and the sleeve and then i uh popped it up in here torqued it down the arp bolts and then i uh started getting this thing i had to slide it on the ground this light but i had to slide it on the ground to get it underneath and then i had to use my jack to get it up onto the little trans jack and then i had to finagle it to get it up in the front but I ended up getting both jacks under it and then I was able to pretty much get it lined up exactly where I needed it and uh, I was able to get it but it does line up with the this is this truck used to be automatic this k10 when I first got it and so it lines up with the old uh, the old bolt holes for the cross member so that's good so it is on cross member I got to replace these bushings i'm gonna take the other ones off of my other cross member and yeah so uh that like i said man that was a that was a crazy old day of wheeling or i mean a wrenching and anyway so there's the uh there's the converter let me I'll push it back a little bit maybe if i can i don't know you can see it's the nose of it rests up in that sleeve there so, God, it would suck if I'd have put it together without that sucker. I'd have been mad. All right, so anyways, it's uh, it's up in there. I got four bolts holding it in right now. So you can see them up there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, two on each side. But the um, only snag I really ran into was, uh, if you can see, yeah, you can see like straight up there. You see that ear? There was like an ear sticking out of that. And uh, if you'll recall, when I mocked this up in the K20, I had actually cut, I had actually cut the case right there because it, it just would not. I couldn't even get the exhaust up in there. But uh, I was like, man, do I want to take the freaking headers down? 
and I decided, hell no, let's just cut it. So I busted out the sawzall and uh, cut that cut that piece off of there. Where's that piece? It's back there somewhere. I'll show it to you. But anyways, yeah. So it's freaking close right here, though, with this uh, vacuum modulator. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna have to. I don't know. I have to figure something out. I'll have to uh, probably have to use like rubber line and then uh, use some of that like exhaust blanket or something to make sure it don't melt. But uh, but yeah, anyways, so shit, I don't know, it's close. Other than that, I don't know. I haven't really looked around too much. There's my dipstick tube. I got to fish that up into the firewall. It's just kind of chilling up top there for now. It looks like my my shifter or uh what anyways the little i don't know whatever you call that that comes down from uh from the column shift deal looks like that's clearing okay i got some clearance around the headers and uh and then i just got to put it in i still have the bracket here from when it was an auto before so that should be should be okay so like i said i just really wanted to just get it get the other one out and get it in here and then now I can take my time and start hooking up all this little stuff and you know when I have like a little piddly amount of time that I can actually come out here and work on it I just knew like this weekend was pretty much it for uh, getting this in here I got a bunch of stuff going on probably next weekend and I don't think I'll probably be able to get out here uh, as much as I did this weekend. So that is it. I'm talking your ear off. I appreciate you guys. You guys have a good night. The uh, K10 is now an auto. We got some stuff to do uh more but we're gonna get it it's uh it's hung there's bolts through it to the motor and there is a cross member is cross membrane so that's it for now you guys take care talk to you soon